Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a website, um, a one page one. So current, previously we've looked at multiple um, page website. So let me just look at an example. So previously we looked at this one where we created an index, we created an about page, contact us page and gallery page. And when we click through it, it went to those respective pages. So as you can see at the top, the name is changing according to the page you are on. So what I'm going to show you today is how to create a one page website, one where um, everything you do is all on one page. So let me just um, show you my one page website. Um, as you can see, the only file in there is the index file. There's no other links and everything links onto all on one page. So if you scroll down, it's got the about us section, got gallery section, uh, the video page, and at the bottom is the footer so as you can see everything that i've got is on one page my navigation is here so what i want to do is when i click on these um, each of these individual sections uh sorry links it should take me to the appropriate section okay so um what we're going to do first is we're going to go into our source code now as you know from previous videos we split everything up into different sections so we've got a section here for the top a section for this a section for gallery etc Okay, or we call them divs. So what we're going to do now is give these divs an ID. So um, firstly, I'm going to start off with my uh, banner, and I'm going to call it div class equals banner ID equals. I can, I can do the same banner. Okay, uh, for HTML content ID equals HTML text or well, actually html actually it's the about us section isn't it so html id equals about let's go down to the gallery id equals gallery so we scroll down to the videos and so on so we're going to keep doing this so id equals video Okay, and the final one, footer, ID equals footer. So ID equals footer. So now we've given each of these um, sections, not just a class, but also a ID. So to identify where it is on a page. Now notice all of these IDs are individually named. So you need to make sure you do not repeat the same name twice. So now I'm going to go back to the top. Now I've given all the IDs. Now these links, now before on a multi-page website, you would actually href it to the actual video, sorry, actual file where that um, link actually goes to. However, we're not going to do that this time. Actually, I've got one extra here. Got home, about us, gallery, videos. Oh, let's have footer in there as well. Okay. So what we're going to do is this time we're going to go uh, in this section here where you write the href in between the speech marks, nowhere else. We're going to um, so this is the footer. We're going to do a hashtag. And we're going to type the word footer because that's where the footer will go. Uh, same with the second one, so the videos. Let's do hashtag videos and so on. So gallery hashtag. So these are anchor tags. So what it does, it looks or locates the actual ID or where the ID is on the page that you're referring to. So hashtag gallery delete. Hashtag about and okay, so these are the IDs footer, video, gallery, and about. So, what I'll do is when I click on this link, it will look for the word about. So, the ID of about is here, so that's where it will go on the page. Now, in terms of home page, um, uh, sorry, home. So, basically, you want it to go to the top of the page. All you do is you don't actually put anything, you just push um, put a hashtag in. Now, if you put by putting a hashtag in, all it does is takes you right back to the top. So, the top of the page it will take you there. Okay, so what we're going to do now is save that. And now, if we check it, run our page, if we click on about, notice it's gone down to about. Excellent. Now, if I scroll back up here, if I go to videos, okay, it's taking me to the videos page. Uh, footer will take me to the footer and hashtag will just keep me in the same place because it will stay at top. Now, the thing that you may have noticed there 
is that when I click on these I have to scroll back up to get to the top of the page now that can be very inconvenient and a bit of a hassle because you keep scrolling the point of a one page website is to go through each page without having to scroll so what we're going to do now in the, um, for that we just need to change a few uh, put a bit of code inside our navigation so we're going to go to our style sheet and underneath nav um, the navigation we're going to enter the CSS property uh, position and we're going to write in fixed so it stays in the exact position uh, throughout so it's not going to move from there at all so let's refresh that now if I okay also what you'll notice is it's now gone smaller the reason for that is because the width you didn't actually in the properties I haven't specified the width of my navigation so what I'm going to do is width and then let's do 1200 pixels okay if I do 1200 okay it's gone that it's not long enough now what I could do is have a little um, experimenting and check you know keep going back and forth and figure out what the exact width of this navigation is now, see now it's too big or what I could do is just look at my wrapper whatever the width in the wrapper is it's exactly what the navigation should be so width is 80% change that to 80% okay so that's exact now now if I click on uh, my gallery okay can you see that I'm clicking on each of these videos okay again up and down okay so it's going to the respective page and the navigation remains constant throughout so this is how you create a one-page website now um, you may have noticed that on some of these pages like this about us page and this gallery page it cuts off like the heading in the gallery okay the reason it's doing that is because this navigation bar I've got here it's a certain height so it could be um, around maybe 80 or 100 uh, pixels so the reason is when you click on top see this top line over here that goes exactly on the top here so in line with the top of your bra um, page here and that's why because the navigation is fixed and it also will constantly remain there the rest of it goes behind that navigation so to get rid of that all we're going to do is in each of our sections so what was the first one it was the about one so that's html content one what we're going to do is we're just going to add some padding at the top so padding at the top uh, oops padding dot top uh, we're gonna uh, give it around 80 pixels. Let's try 80 pixels. That's good. If I refresh that, no, it's excellent. That's moved down. 80 pixels might even be a bit too much. Let's go 60. Okay, so can you see that? Now that's perfect. So if you look at it before on the gallery, it's like that, and in, in the about us now it's perfect. So we can do the same thing in the gallery. Copy that padding. Put it in our gallery. Uh, class and I'll refresh that so now I've got about gallery excellent look at that see wonderful okay so that's how you create a one-page website